Hello, it's Jim from JetsAndHacks.com. Today we are going to teach our WaveShare JetBot to avoid collisions using transfer learning. I have started up the JetBot and it is running a Jupyter Notebook server. I'm running a browser on my laptop. I have navigated to the IP address of the JetBot on port 8888. Now we can see the Jupyter Notebooks. Let's open up the collision avoidance folder. Here, we break this into three different tasks. First, we collect data to train our model. Then we use that data to train the model. The technique that we are using is called transfer learning. Finally, we take that trained model and put it on the Jetson. Using the camera sensor input as data, we inference to determine the robot's steering direction. Let's start up the data collection notebook. The first section here describes what we are about to do. This notebook is pretty simple. We will be using the robot's camera sensor. We place the robot in scenarios where its safety bubble is violated. Then we take an image from the camera, label the image as blocked, and save it. And then we do the same thing when the robot can move forward and label those images as free. First, let's make sure that our camera works. I did this before filming. That's why we have the error displaying the widget. Select the text in the cell and then hit the play button. The camera appears. Next, we do a little bit of housekeeping. We create some directories to store our data in. Select the text and hit play. The dataset folder appeared. You can see that we have blocked and free folders inside. Next, we are going to create some buttons to help us with our task. And then we connect our buttons to functions to save our data. Select the text and then hit play. Now we are ready to go. Let's create a little panel here. You'll have our camera feed and our buttons. Let's gather some blocked scenarios. I'm placing the robot about a robot's length away from the tape. That should give it enough room to turn to avoid the obstacle. Then I hit the add blocked button and then move it over to another place that I think it should be blocked. Two down. For this demo, you probably need about 100 images of blocked and 100 images of free. It usually takes about five or 10 minutes to gather the images. I'll gather some more blocked images. I'll speed this up a little bit. Now let's do some where the robot is free to roam. We are telling the robot that it can drive forward safely when it's in this scenario. Let's gather some more images. Etc. Cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Next, let's train it when an object is blocking its path. In this case, we're using a tennis ball. When the ball is close to the camera, we'll mark it as blocked.
When the ball is far away, it's safe to go, so we add that to the free pile. Let's finish up our data collection. Etc. 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 And here's the last one. Let's save our data set. Select the cell and hit play. The dataset shows up as dataset.zip. Now we are ready to train the model. Let's switch over to that notebook. For this demo, I'm going to train the model on the Jetson itself. I'm going to plug it into the wall. Then we follow the directions in the notebook. We are going to import PyTorch. If you're training on the Jetson, you can just ignore the second step. Then we create the data set instance. Next, we split the data set into training and test sets. Then we create data loaders to load the data in batches. In your first go through, you really don't need to know that much to train your model. However, you should come back later and try to figure out what it's doing underneath the covers. Next, we're going to load AlexNet. This will take a little while depending on your connection speeds. And then we give the model a little bit of information about our data. We hand over our model to the GPU. And now we are ready to start training. We are going to train our model over 30 epochs. This will take about eight minutes or so in five watt mode. Training complete. You can see that bestmodel.pth showed up. Now we are ready to run our model. Let's close this up and open up the live demo notebook. Let's load PyTorch. Then we will load up our model. All keys match successfully. Let's send the model weights over to the GPU. The format that we trained our model in doesn't exactly match the format of the camera. We need to do a little bit of pre-processing. Let's define a pre-processing function to take care of this. Let's start up our camera. and then create an instance of robot. Next, we will create a function that does the magic. 
It preprocesses the image, executes the neural network. If the model thinks that we are blocked, the robot turns left. I'm going to slow the robot down from 0.4 to 0.1. I will show you what happens in both scenarios, but we'll just say 0.4 is a little too fast. Before you execute this function, pick the robot up, or else it will just wander away. Now we connect our neural network function to the camera. Let's try it out. So far, so good. Oh, let's look at the little dashboard. We see when the robot thinks that it is blocked. Let's try out the tennis ball. Oh, it doesn't like that. Excellent. The ball has to be pretty close before it turns. Let's see if it recognizes other objects. How about a shark? Oh, it doesn't like sharks. That's interesting. If you leave the motor speed at 0 0.4, it starts acting like this. It's crazy. I believe this happens because the buffer safety zone is not large enough when we trained our model. Back at slow speed, let's put some tape down, see if it recognizes that. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm, no, tape wasn't down all the way. It looks like it recognizes tape okay. Let's put it at an angle. It handles that okay. Although it's pretty amazing. This is an amazingly complex system. But at the same time, it seems really simple. You can spend a lot of time playing with this. Jetpot, jetpot, happy little jetpot, 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 go! Jetpot, jetpot, happy little jetpot, 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 everywhere he goes! Jetpot, jetpot, happy little jetpot, 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 go!